she always blaming something on me. I ain't know that fuck is. She's like yelling at him. I'm waiting to see what's about to happen. Look at this, this car went through it. Look at him, y'all. Why did my car just cut off? If you wanna kick it with me, gotta foot the bill. But keep calm, you are just a crush. Anything that you give me is just a plus. The bag is secure and the bills are paid. If you ain't hit a ride, then I gotta switch lanes. I deserve everything I desire. Being through with money, then I pass them to Maya. I'm so happy to be back on my camera. Happy Saturday. I am going to be using my lunch break to work on this video. The title of this video is called My Stalker Left Something on My Doorknob. By the time you see this clip, that video will already be out. Y'all, it is 527. I'm done with work for the day and I don't have to worry about going to work in the morning. This time I have to be to work at 1 to 2. In. It's like bittersweet because I don't have to go to bed so early I can work longer Which is always great when you get to work longer on your videos and stuff like that Luckily my camera didn't die. I haven't used it in like maybe three days. I have not even charged this thing up So there's an album I'm looking for. I could not wait for his album to come out because I love his music But he just came out with a new album and I love his music. Jaden OMG y'all. So his album just came out recently and the name of his album is called E or Y X. I'm gonna just go with the book. They're kind of like two personalities. You yeah. know, it's kind of like the angel and the devil on my shoulder. Yeah, you know, yeah. and Sire's the angel. Sire is, you know, the nice one, kind of the more sensitive one. Mm -hmm. And Iris is just kind of like, doesn't really care at all. That's how it was when Tyler the Creator came out. Like, I love his music. Y'all, look at this. It's 6.02 p.m. I should have been home. I got off at 5.15. Look at this rain. I had to get off the freeway. It don't even look as bad on camera. It got so out of control. It was a freaking flood on the freeway, and I'm like, oh no, this is my cue to get off. You still got those one people that want to tailgate you in the rain when you can barely see. So now here I am taking the streets. I feel like when you take the streets, you use more gas. It wasn't even raining when I left work. And when I was on the freeway and it wasn't raining, I could tell it was raining in certain areas. That was the weirdest thing ever. Like just seeing different spots where it's raining a lot at. Y'all look at this, a freaking flood. Not everybody pulled over because everybody got to do a U-turn. This is crazy. What the hell? I don't even know how to get home. Look at this, this car went through it. Look at him y'all. I don't even know which way to go. I don't know what to do. These cars is zooming through this flood, y'all. Oh my God. Still raining, I'm home. I finally made it home. Thank you, God. I kind of feel like I did go through like a really deep flood or whatever. All them cars that was turning around, if I had been the only car going that way, I would have went through it. Because I, I wouldn't have known until the very last minute once my car was going through it. Y'all saw how deep that stuff was when the other car went through it. I was on another street and I was like the only car out. I went through like a flood and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I did not mess my car up. I've done that before and that was like 2009. We were on the way like to the club or something. It was me and another girl and like it was raining so bad and like we went under a Vidoc. Y'all, I thought I was straight after that Vidoc until we slowed down and stopped at like a red light. My car cut off. I'm like, why did my car just cut off? Well, I tried to cut it back on, it wouldn't come on. It wasn't even making a cranking noise. Like, I didn't know what the heck was going on. My engine had got wet. I thought it was like the end of that car. I think I had like a 2002, it was a gold Impala. I don't know how we got home. Maybe we caught a cab or something. I'm gonna have to ask her, you know, cause that was some years ago. Maybe she remembers. 
but I just remember we were so upset that we could not go to the club. I don't know what I was more upset about, not getting to the club or my car. Like, I've always had a car, so I didn't know what I was gonna do. That is just something you can't even go to sleep to. I had to get it towed, towed the car to my home. The next day, I tried to start it up, it wouldn't start up. So I had somebody else come out and he was scaring me because he was supposed to be a mechanic. This mechanic obviously didn't know what was going on and he can't figure out what's wrong with my car. He like, no, nah, it should have started up by now if your engine had got wet. You sure you didn't run out of gas? The next day after that, my car started up like nothing ever happened. Y'all, that was the worst feeling ever. Can you imagine just not knowing if you have a car again or not? Like, y'all, guess what? It is raining so bad. Let me see if I can show y'all how bad it's raining. You see this? If you know me, then you know why I do not go outside in the rain, why I try to avoid the rain. I don't even care about getting my hair wet. I could care less. I didn't even bring my freaking umbrella. Oh my God, somebody's trying to get in here. Oh my gosh. Look at my glasses. How am I supposed to see? I got electronics with me. I gotta make sure it don't get wet. I'm gonna have to use my jackets to help me. Oh, and she got on short. I can't take my glasses off either because then I really won't be able to see in the rain. That's all I care about is seeing. That's it. I don't care about nothing else. I don't care about my hair getting wet. I don't care about my shoes getting wet. I care about my glasses getting wet and I won't be able to see what the is going on and then I'm gonna get paranoid. I have to be able to see. I could have been in the house already. You know what? I know what I can do. I can drop my glasses off, use my jacket as an umbrella, and then I can get out. And I'll be able to see because my glasses won't get wet because I'm using my jacket as a shelter. Look at my hair. This is why I don't like to wear curly hair. Look at this shit, y'all. What is, what is, what is going on? Like, I want curls like freaking Lissette. Lissette got some. She got some cute freaking curls, man. And I want my curls like that. Her curls look healthy. And I seen her hair straight before, and when she went back to curly, it was 100% cute. I just wanna get in the house already. I got stuff to do. Somebody parked in the gate and the landlord caught him and she's telling him he can't park here. She's like yelling at him. I'm waiting to see what's about to happen. Oh, he's leaving. Y'all, I was so scared. I didn't know what the heck was happening. Like, I don't know who this is. And she ain't moving till he, hold on, hold on. Hold on. She not leaving until he leaves. Oh my God. Look at this, y'all. She is not playing no games. I got scared, especially how they blocked it. Now why she get mad at me? She getting back in her car now. I knew I cut the camera off way too early. Tell me why the hell my landlord had a nerve to ask me. I called it too, I said why she about to probably cuss me out. She told me some, is he here for you? That's how she told. And I'm like, what? Is he here for you? I'm like, <laughs> what? Focus, careful. Focus, careful. But I knew she was gonna have something to say. She always blaming something on me. I ain't know that. Fuck it. All right, y'all.